All right, guys, I got 105 miles. And 17.5 hours on this machine. And I don't really like the noise it makes, so I'm gonna drain the fluid, the rear differential fluid, and just replace it with some uh, Royal Purple 7590, or 75140 actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this drained right now. All right, so it takes a five millimeter Allen to drain it. The drain bolt is right down here, right below the axle. So, to unscrew it, I'm just going to use one of these just for a little bit of leverage. So the way they designed this is it's going to drain right onto this basically skid plate. So I put the front two wheels on a 2x4, that way it just drains out the bottom here. So. Just gonna let it drain for I don't know 15 20 minutes that way we get as much out of it as possible Baba what is this? It's a camera. For the camera lights? Mm-hmm. Alright so I'm at home, so I'm kind of limited on tools. And this six millimeter is just a hair loose, but we'll see if we can break it loose. Oh, well, it worked. This is the fill plug. backing up without the copper washer. It's all right. Copper washer just fell into the oil. We'll fish it out. All right, that's the fill plug. So, before I tighten the drain plug, I'm going to run a couple ounces of this stuff through. That way it kind of flushes it out, I guess. I got this little pump from O'Reilly's. Make some cuts to open it. This should help the filling process. Alright, so this thing has uh, two threads for different size bottles, which yeah. makes it perfect for the job.
right, it's coming out clean. It wasn't very tight to begin with, so I snugged it up and I'll just monitor it for leaks after, you know, a little bit of driving. Yes. Mm. Okay, now before I fill it, I'm going to remove the, the 2x4s. That way I get the level proper on here. fill it up until it starts leaking out. It's not scary. My toddler is with me and he saw an ant running around. Said, can I fix it? It's scary. Alright, looks like it's starting to drizzle. Get a couple more pumps. Just let the excess drip out. Well, that's a lo lot of excess. I guess the couple extra pumps were not necessary. I wish I had some brake clean with me at home. That way I can spray it down afterwards but I guess I'll just wipe it down as good as I can. Alright, it basically stopped so it should be good enough at this point. Go ahead and try to get this threaded. It says 250 newton meters. That doesn't sound right. Oh, it says 250 milliliters. So I thought that was a torque spec, but I didn't see the milliliters. So yeah, that concludes the oil replacement. Alright, nothing out of the ordinary here with the oil. Take it out in the sun. Just some super 
fine. Litter basically. No large shavings, which is good. So I don't think this rear diff was the cause of the noise. Next thing I'm gonna do is replace the belt. I don't think it'll, well, some people online seem to say it helps, but if that doesn't fix it, then I'm just gonna call it normal and just drive it the way it is. But uh, yeah, I'm just a little concerned, you know, such an expensive machine and uh, it's making a grinding noise, but if it's normal, it's normal. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.